In this video, we're going to be checking out all the features and video quality that you're going to get from a budget projector by Vispel. This may not be for everyone, but is it for you? Let's jump right in and see. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to DIY Reed. My name is Reed, and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I cover a range of topics, including tech reviews, home automation, and how-to videos for both home and automotive. In today's video, we'll be taking a close look at the Vispel V30 LED projector. And that's what this, this is right here. Pretty small. If you're in the market for a budget-friendly projector, then this video is for you. By the end of this video, I will have provided answers to the most pressing questions. First, I'll let you know how much this projector costs. Then I'll give you a rundown of what you get in the box. Next, I'll highlight the main features of this projector. After that, I'll test the video quality and the audio quality in the dark, as well as in a kind of a somewhat lit room. And finally, I'll share my final thoughts on this projector. I've reviewed a handful of budget-friendly projectors on my channel, but I have to say that the first thing that jumped out at me was the video quality on this. The Vispel V30 LED projector has a 17 million color range and a 480 ANSI rating, which makes the picture bright and vivid. Vispel advertises that this projector provides over 80% sharpness and brightness, other than the 1080 projectors that are also on this market. At this time, this projector can be picked up for about $140 after a $120 coupon that is applied. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out and current pricing. Let's take a closer look at the projector and what you get in the box. Here's the projector. On the front of the projector, you see up here, we have the infrared port right here. So that way the remote can work on the front side. You have 1080p HD. And then you also have a cap. It's a plastic cap that covers the lens and protects it. Now, one thing to note is when you go to focus the lens, the lens comes out a little bit, making that cap a little useless. You have to always put the focus back in all the way. At the very top here, you got the name of it up here. You got a focus ring up at the top, the keystone adjustment, down here says LCD, USB, LED. And then you have the different controls. So you don't need to necessarily use the remote if you don't want to. I did set up the Wi-Fi on this using this controller right here. So you have the uh, menu button here, the S button here. I can't, I can't remember what the S button does exactly, but you have the middle button, which is usually like uh, selecting. This might be a select button as well. And then you have the arrow keys. So that way you can move around the menu get a power button and then a return button. On the back, you have an infrared port on the back. So that way you can control the remote from the back or the front of it, wherever it is. And then you have the power plug. I'm not sure what that is. I've heard that that's extra. You can knock this out for more uh, breathing room. I'm not sure that that's what that's for. It looks like an extra port possibly. If you know what that's for, put it down in the comment section. I'd love to know about it. On the side here, you have an intake. And the reason why I know this is the intake for the exhaust, or well, for the exhaust, for the fan, is it's got a filter right here, which you can remove it and clean it down below. On the side here, you have the exhaust from the fan. So it kind of goes through the device. You have a USB port, a headphone jack, audiovisual port, HDMI 2, HDMI 1, and another USB port. So this is USB 1 and USB 2. HDMI 1, HDMI 2. And so those are the ports that you get with this. And then on the bottom, you have the speaker. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is the speaker that comes with it. And you want to make sure that you use this adjustment screw or have it on a tripod. I had this flat on a table and it didn't, it kind of resonated off of this plastic case as well as the table. And here's another, looks like another intake area. And then on the bottom, you have four little rubber feet as well as a tripod mount. And then this adjustment screw right here will allow you to adjust it if you're putting it on the table. Here's what you get in the box. You have the projector itself. It provides you a 100 inch screen with some rope. They also, one thing I wanted to mention here is they recommend using a white wall indoors instead of the screen. And it says hang screen by rope, or you can use these little hooks. That's what they have on the recommendation sheet here. They also have a text operation guide as well as an operation guide on the back side with QR codes. Then they have this owner's manual, color owner's manual. 
there's a power cord here. It's about three feet, four feet long. I already unraveled that. You have AV cables right here, a remote, HDMI cable. You have a screw-in riser for the bottom of this, so that way you can rise or raise up the front of this. You have a mini tripod here to put the projector on. And then last but not least, you have, looks like it's a little bit of a, to wipe dust, it's a little kind of a Q-tip to wipe the dust off of the filter area or where the vents are for the air intake and air exit. So you can make sure those are clean. Also on the speaker too at the bottom. Now let's talk about some of the key features of the Vispel V30 LED projector that you're gonna get. The most, one of the most impressive things about this projector is that it's a native 1080p and it has 4K support. It also has the 480 ANSI rating, which is 15,000 lux brightness, 15,000 to one contrast ratio, and the 17 million color ranges, making this picture a bright, sharp, and vivid picture altogether. Because this projector is small and easily portable, the 64P Keystone Correction allows you to make adjustments to the four corners independently or in vertical, horizontal, and rotational directions to get a square image easily, no matter how you place the projector. This is a neat feature that makes setting up the projector a breeze. Another great feature of this projector is that it can connect to your 2.4 and 5 gigahertz home Wi-Fi network or through its Bluetooth 5.1 chip, allowing you to play a video or mirror your phone wirelessly. It does have a built-in stereo and dual speakers, although I found that the speakers were a little lacking. While the sound could get plenty of loud, I noticed that the sound started vibrating against the plastic case of the projector, and the louder you got, the worse it gets. I would recommend using an external speaker when using this projector in a large area or outside. Also, the sound of the cooling fan was a little bit loud for my taste, so keep that in mind when looking at this. While most budget projectors don't come with a screen, this one does provide you with a 100-inch screen, which is really nice. That being said, this projector can project up to 400 inches, making it a great option for larger spaces. Overall, the Vispel V30 LED projector has some impressive features and make it stand out in the budget-friendly projector market. Let's check out the quality of the video in a dark room and a room with some light. I won't be using any audio from the clips for copyright reasons, but we'll go ahead and play some music while it's playing some videos from movies that are being played. Here are my final thoughts on this projector. The Vispel V30 LED projector is a great option for those looking for a budget-friendly projector. It's compact and portable, making it easy to take on the go. And the Keystone Correction feature makes it easy to set up and configure. The projector also has many inputs, including Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which allow you to stream or mirror content from your mobile devices. The picture quality is crisp and vivid, making for an enjoyable viewing and experience. However, the fan noise and the speaker quality could be improved, although this is a common thing with this type of projector and its price range. As long as you're not in a small room with the projector right next to you, the fan noise shouldn't be too much of an issue. I just wanted to make sure I called it out because it was a little bit louder than most projectors in this price range that I've reviewed. If this projector is for you, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out and current pricing. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing for more tech reviews, home automation, and home and automotive how-to videos. Thanks for watching.